the arithmetic of life. What's the arithmetic of life? In the beginning, before you met, there were you and he or she. Was there two and one plus one equals one plus one? After introductions, together you had fun and one plus one. Because you see, you both cherish your individuality. So technically, one plus one equals one plus one still. Then you chose to become a couple. You formed a partnership of sorts, a marriage with or without a license. Either in or out of the courts. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, 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 now it's true for both of you that one plus one equals two. Huh? There's you and your partner joined as one, and the partnership becomes an entity making two partners and the partnership vows life goes on then you decide how nice it just might be to start a family and one plus one equals three and four then maybe even more that's the arithmetic of life you find happiness, love, and strife. Each moment is up to you. What you want to do day by day, in every big and in every little way. Life goes on, life goes on your way. Life goes When you become a couple, everything changes and it's something that happens out of your awareness because there's you and there's your partner and your partner's not your other half and your partner's not your better half. You're still two individuals because if you become anything other than a one plus one and a one plus one, there's going to be a problem down the road when the honeymoon phase has ended. So what do I mean by the partnership or the marriage is an entity by itself? Well, you have your friends a partner has his or her friends, and then there are friends that you have in common. You have the activities you like to do. Your partner has the activities he or she likes to do. And then there are the activities you do together. There are all kinds of rules for who's going to do what in the partnership, in the home, and maybe you discuss them, and maybe you just fell into certain roles, but the fact is, there are all these rules. There are all these vows, whether spoken or not. There are all these agreements, whether spoken or not. There are this entity that defines the partnership. And just so you know, I hope your partnership stays together. It takes a lot of work to do so. It takes a lot of communication. It takes, first and foremost, you knowing you and your partner knowing himself or herself. But that's a whole 
course. So right now, just want to make it really clear that how your life works in that relationship and whether it's successful or not depends on you living the way you want to while allowing your partner to live the way he or she wants to so there's compromise there's talk there's communication there's agreement or the lack thereof which ultimately will lead to a relationship falling apart when you look at couples who have been married for decades and decades maybe 50 years, 60 years, 70 years. Their relationship has evolved. This whole thing of falling in love, that's pretty new on the scene, given all of time of humanity. So after the whole love attraction wears off and the world looks different, what you find as your definition of love that keeps you together changes and it will keep changing but the one thing that doesn't change is you have to know you and what you want and your partner has to know who he or she is and what he or she wants i really appreciate your sharing this information if it touched something inside you and you know somebody who may be helped by this information. And if you go on over to your relationshipintelligence.com, you will learn about how to build your relationship intelligence because it's only understanding what relationship intelligence is, how to grow it, that allows you to make the changes over time that keep your relationship a loving one of mutual honor and respect. we starting with yourself. Can't give what you don't have. I'm Allie Bierman. And over on your relationshipintelligence.com, you'll find a gift I have for you to keep your relationship going. Oh, and by the way, I live out in the country, and right now, being a little bit distracted, there's an enormous family of turkeys right outside my window. And there's a mother doe and her oldest fawn. And she usually comes with two little fawn. Not sure where they are, but it's just been a little bit distracting. <laughs> and that's how my life goes on. <laughs>